Hi, Steve, and um, taking a look at this Remington 1187 uh, semi auto shotgun, 12 gauge. Now it has the extension tube, so it actually holds six, and then you can put one in the chamber, so six plus one if you wanted to do that. Now I picked this up last year off a family member, and I gotta tell you, I really loved it. Um, usually I'm into pump action shotguns, Mossberg 500s are my favorite. Um, rabbit hunted a lot with those. But I do like the semi-auto because it, the felt recoil into the shoulder is a lot less than with a pump. Now the part I don't like about it is the loading gate. Uh, Mossberg 500s and Maverick 88s of course don't have this. Kind of a pain in the ass, but uh, yeah, it's worth it. Another weird thing, which couldn't figure out for a while. Now it's currently disarmed, hammered down. So you got to push this little button here to get the gate to go down. And try to feed it around. Get it, in there. it won't lock in. Drive me crazy. Why the hell would do this for it? So I, by fiddling around with it, I figured out that if you armed it basically by having a hammer. There's an internal hammer. So now the hammer is cocked back. So now you still got to move this little latch thing out of the way. And now it feeds perfectly. Why it does that? Um, I'm assuming it's designed that way. I don't know. But um, once I figured that out, it was a little bit better because I'm like, why the hell won't this thing I can't get rounds into it. Don't be crazy because the Mossbergs don't do that. And then you got to kind of fight with the loading gate a little bit, but it's okay. I got better with it in, over time. So this is this like number seven, or no, number six uh, game load, low um, base. But now remember, the hammer is back, but there's nothing in the chamber at the moment, so you actually got to arm it again by pulling back the hockey mechanism. So now we're going to actually arm it. And from this point it's like a normal shotgun, only a single, a single action. But it's fast and it's fun and, and did I mention it was fast? Now about uh, 15, 17 years ago I owned a Charles Daly, which had a similar mechanism. I don't remember the loading gate being the same, but but it was a 28-inch barrel. Um, yeah, that, that was fun to shoot, too. Um, but like I said, uh, the Mossbergs, the pump actions, were, have always been my favorite because they don't actually have that loading gate. And when I used to rabbit hunt and walk around a lot, I could actually follow a rabbit and load it by just feel. I didn't have to actually watch, and I could walk now I kind of have to play atten pay attention to it and see what's going on. So I'm going to grab some buckshot and we're going to uh, play around with that here in a moment. I'll be right back. Now I got it loaded with three rounds of this Winchester 12 gauge, two and three quarter, nine pellet buckshot. And I didn't own a shotgun for a lot of years because like I said, the, um, the pumps, which is what I prefer. Uh, they were abusive to my shoulder, especially when you moved into your buckshot, slugs, things like that. And hell, for, for years, every time you even thought about shooting a, a shotgun or a high-powered rifle, my shoulder would just actually start aching. I could just feel it like, like no, 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 we don't want that no more. Um, yeah, it's, it was quite abusive. This, though, it's not that bad. So same thing, I got three rounds in her. We're going to... Armor up. And you see, the recoil is not that bad. Um, quite tolerable. I'm just shooting in the dirt, of course. And it locks open on the last round, which is nice. Get this dust out of, out of the way here. So anyway, this, uh, this has rapidly became one of my favorite shotguns I've ever owned. Uh, mainly because I can shoot it, even the buckshot, and not be brutalized by it. 
my shoulder doesn't hurt no more. Um, yeah, and I know that's kind of wimpy of me, but I started shooting 12 gauge when I was 13 rabbit hunting. And um, I think hundreds, if not thousands of rounds of 12 gauge later, my shoulder was this tired of it. But now it's not too bad. All right, thanks for watching.